Chelsea, look at this list. Absolutely glorious. I believe I see 26 plays that you're making. There are a lot. I'm not very good at counting. Where are you going? Well, Jakes, we did so much research for today's show. They're like, I want to make the most of it. All right. So best bet of the weekend is going to be on Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans over his receiving prop of 11 and a half yards for minus 115 over at BetMGM. I have been paying attention to this because I was the idiot that played the under on his receiving prop the game before the Titans decided that, hey, we need somebody in the receiving game, and we're going to give it to Derrick Henry because over the past couple games, he's gotten at least five targets. Last game, he was the second leading receiver. The Titans don't have a clear number one, so they pass the ball around to a lot of guys. So Derrick Henry, I think he can get this number in a couple of catches. Like I said, he's getting the targets. And plus, against Washington, uh, opponents have had at least one in running back hit this number in every game but one. So Derrick Henry, over 11 and a half receiving yards, a pretty low number that maybe he can get in one catch. Ooh, okay, Chelsea. I don't know what's going on with that Titans commanders line, by the way. Money has come in on the commanders, and if you're betting that game, you can get Titans minus one and a half. I'm staying away. That is really, really fishy. Okay, for my best bet, I am going to college football. And we've got Houston at Memphis. This game is tonight. Total set at 57 and a half. Let's get some early money. Early in the year, I love the Cougars. I thought they would be that group of five team that causes some disruption, perhaps, in the college football playoff like Cincinnati did last year. Guess what? Double D, you're shaking your head at me. You should shake your head at me. I deserve a good scolding for thinking that. What in the hell was going on? I think it was just a bad time for me. Look, neither of these teams play defense. I really love this play. The Cougars have the 114th passing defense in the country. Now they have to face Memphis quarterback Seth Hennigan. He's a sophomore. Already this season, he's thrown for more than 1,200 yards to go along with nine touchdowns, only one pick. On the flip side, if you know college football, you know Clayton Toon and Nathaniel Dell. They've been getting it done for a couple years now. But they face the Tigers defense that is ranked against the pass 123rd in the country. So you got two offenses that love to throw the ball. They're very good and efficient at it. And these defenses cannot stop the pass. This is going to be a fun game. This total should be in the 60s. Over 57 and a half between Houston and Memphis tonight. All right, let's switch things up. I'm going to ask the eight ball about your bet first and see if it switches oh. up the karma. All right, eight ball, let's do your worst. Holy crap. Magic eight ball. That's right. And we're in hurry up mode because we got a ton of bets to get to. So eight ball, do we like the over 57 and a half in Houston, Memphis? Yes. Short and to the yes. point. We like that. It is hate All week. Right. Let's go. It's hate week. All right. So let's go with my play. Derrick Henry over 11 and a half receiving yards against the commanders. It is certain. Oh. oh, okay. Everyone's on the right side. We're all aligned. I feel synergy affecting our show oh chelsea's posing guys you know what that means you got to check her out with the eight ball she does a fantastic job she has sole ownership of the eight ball i've never touched that thing and i don't want to if you would like to sole custody of the eight ball if you would like to watch chelsea shake up the old eight ball you can do that and stream the entire show as well just go to twitch.tv slash betql that is twitch.tv slash betql we aren't the only ones who like to throw down some money on this show now we get to check in with Double D. And now it's time for the producer's parlay on the BetQL Network, presented by BetMGM. Everybody's going big today, so why shouldn't I? Arkansas, these are all to cover. Arkansas, plus nine and a half at Mississippi State. Auburn, plus 29 and a half at Georgia. Western Kentucky, plus six and a half at UTSA. Fresno State plus seven and a half at Boise State, Hawaii plus 22 and a half at San Diego State, Arizona State plus 14 versus Washington. And on the money line, I have UCLA over Utah, UNC over Miami, BYU over Notre Dame, and Purdue over Maryland. Odds are 15.35 to one, $25 bet wins you $38,413 and a little bit of change. <laughs> Swinging for the fence, to put it lightly. Double D doesn't go big. 
He goes big times Damn. 10. This guy go, goes this ham is sandwich. Like, oh, my God. Double D always goes ham. Good luck, Double D. That is sponsored by BetMGM, the king of parlays. My God, what a payout that would be. We should at least – are you going to put some money on it? You put, like, maybe a dollar on it just for the hell of it because if this actually hit, I would kill myself for not betting on it. Yeah, so you at least put, like, a dollar on it. If not, I think I did like an alternate version where I just did the money long money line dogs because double these picks are usually pretty solid. Yeah. All right, Chelsea. I see your list of bets here. You got a ton of pro plays <laughs> that you're on, so give them to me. All right. First up, Carson Wentz of the Commanders over his passing yards prop of 236.5 against the Titans this weekend. The Titans are allowing the fourth most pass yards of any team in the NFL. And Carson Wentz has got this in two of four games this season. The only two games he didn't get it were against some of the best defenses in the NFL, the Eagles and the Cowboys. The Titans secondary is not that. And plus, Carson Wentz has exceeded this by a lot in the other games. 337 in one game, 313 in the other. So I like the over for his pass yards. Next up going to go with James Robinson the running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars over 62 and a half rush yards this is due to the matchup the Texans are allowing the most yards on the ground to opponents and also I think this is going to be a lopsided game in which the Jags are winning by a lot and it's reflected in the spread they are seven point favorites so the game script goes if they're ahead they're going to be running the ball a little bit more and James Robinson has been that guy he's hit this in three of four games next up we're going Cowboys plus five and a half at the Rams I think it's too many points for this Rams offensive line that's really struggled to protect Matt Stafford I don't think it's a good matchup for this Cowboys defense I think Cooper Rush and the boys can keep it close at the Rams next up Eagles first half minus three at the Cardinals the Eagles have been spotless in the first half, 4-0 against the number. Meanwhile, the Cardinals 0-4 against the spread in the first half. Two teams, polar opposites when it comes to starting games, and Eagles are clearly the better team. Next up, we've got the Ravens in the first half, minus 2.5 <sighs> against the Bengals. The Ravens as well have been great in the first half. 3-0-1, so only uh, one push and three wins against the spread in the first half. Bengals 1-3 and three against the number in the first half. Plus, it's a home game for the Ravens. I expect this team to be fired up in a primetime matchup against their hated division rivals. Chelsea, impressive. You want to go over that real quickly just to give people a quick rundown of your bets? That was impressive. All right, so Carson Wentz overpassing, James Robinson of the Jags over his rushing prop, Cowboys plus five and a half, Eagles first half minus three, Ravens first half minus two and a half. Love it. Okay, here we go. Normally, I just make a couple bets going into the weekend, but I'm like you, Chelsea. This time, I'm going a little bigger, at least for me. And we're starting with Texas A&M visiting Alabama. Alabama laying 24 and a half points. Yeah. It's over that key number of 24, but I think this is going to be a blowout. a is going with their backup quarterback, Haynes King. If he doesn't go, they're going to throw a freshman in there who has never played, and his first snaps are going to be against Alabama on the road. We know about the hatred or that kerfuffle between Jimbo Fisher and Nick Saban. Saban has been on edge this week, but look at the numbers. Saban is 11-4 and four against the number in his career against former assistants. The Aggies are 1-5 and five against the number in their last six road games. Bryce Young is practicing again for the Tide. Even if he doesn't play, it won't matter. The AM defense, one of the worst in the nation. Alabama, Going to crush Texas A&M, lay the 24 and a half. You know I'm on Texas, minus nine in Dallas against Oklahoma. Quinn Ewers is going to play for Texas. That line immediately jumped from seven to 10. Finally, it's back down to nine. And it doesn't look like Oklahoma starting quarterback Dylan Gabriel will play. That means Oklahoma is probably going to have to go with a backup in this matchup. Not a good time to do it. Texas is a better team than Oklahoma in most every position, if you can believe that. Lay it with the Longhorns. Finally, Browns plus two and a half, hosting the Chargers. Look, this is about matchups. The Browns want to run the ball with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, and they get to face the 31st ranked run defense in the National Football League. Take the home dog. Brownies plus two and a half hosting the L.A. Chargers. Let's do your BetQL five-star best bet. For insight, analysis, historical trends, and more five-star best bets, you can download the BetQL app. Dogster, get over here. It's the end of the week. 
Do you realize, Doxter, I sit here with a smile on my face because I take a lot of pleasure in you losing. The Donkster is 0-5 this week, has not won a single bet. Donkster, you owe the good people who listen to this show an explanation. What do you have to say for yourself? Le who? The her. The Donkster well, says, to be fair, it's my... Whoop. Yes, Chelsea, go right ahead. To be fair, he lost by the hook last night. That was a tough loss. But anyways. Chelsea, he has not lost by the hook in every bat. He is 0-5 this week. The Donkster likes Jets, Dolphins, under 45. Look at this. The Chalk Donkey normally lays the Chalk. Florida International money line plus 185. Ooh against UConn. Are you on the Donkster with any one of those plays? No, but I am laughing that UConn is favored by this much. Very funny. That is ridiculous. Up next on BetQL Daily, the crew will give us their best bets for week five in the NFL. For Chelsea Messenger, Bill Rowland, Matt Pisani, David Dockstra, and the Chalk Donkey, I'm Michael Jenkins. This is the Daily Tip for BetQL presented by BetMGM. Everybody have a great weekend. I think I can go two and five. I bet you don't.